So the energy that I have for this reading is actually, I was kind of in this energy before, but I feel like this is something you could be dealing with right now. That someone's trying to keep you cooped up in a house to trying to tie you down in some way. They've got all these strategies and techniques that they're using to try and tie you down in some way. They don't want you to do better in life. I literally just did a reading with this energy for a close friend with shady tendencies. So this could be the same person. If you just read the, if you just watched the previous reading, if I'm posting them in order, hopefully I'm posting them in order. Um, but there's a title somewhere about shady tendencies, or you could be dealing with a shady friend who has these weird tendencies of trying to tie you down into a position and not allow you to move forward. And I feel like <clears throat> this could be this could have been happening for a very long time, and you're just starting to realize like this is this is bondage. Like this person is really trying to keep you as a hostage or a slave or some kind. And it's like you have to take use all your strength to obey them. So this is what I'm getting. <laughs> the death card and the strength card, like. It's like you're the lion in this position. I'm doing this reading for Scorpio. So it's like you're the lion in this position. And they're trying to control you. Yeah, that's what, that's what it's about. Like they're trying to control you. In these weird and odd ways. And then you have the death card. Because it's like one, somebody's going to have to give. Something's going to have to give when it comes to this energy. I don't feel like you're going to keep letting this person oppress you. When they clearly don't have the strength in real life. To do anything about your power and what you're capable of. I feel like it's all a matter of you submitting. And if you choose not to submit to someone who wants to oppress you, then that's your good. That's very good for you. And then you have Ten of Pentacles. I feel like leaving this oppressive person is going to be a, definitely a death to this relationship. So maybe you're saying goodbye to someone, but you're gaining so much more in the process. I hope this isn't about pets. I know we're not like with this energy. It just seems like, I don't know. Because animals can be like this, but I don't know. For some people, it's like if you committed to loving an animal, please just get rid of it today. Like take it to a, take it to a, a, a animal shelter or something. I'm not getting rid of my pets. I don't care how creepy and manipulative and possessive my cat is. <laughs> I'm just going to do it because I love her. Anyway, we have nine of wands. And I knew that like I'm not going to talk too much about her, but <clears throat> I feel like I'm talking about her a lot. That's how it is, though. <clears throat> For some of y'all, it could be like... You could feel like you're definitely losing something or walking away from something by staying. If you choose to stay with this person, you'll be losing a lot. But at the same time, it's like some like I almost like somebody is considering like, oh, this is a loser. Like only a loser would stay with this person. But maybe you decided to love them. Walking away is a huge benefit. But it is going to take a lot of work. If this is something you're dealing with, the work is worth it. Whatever it takes is worth it. Because you're getting so much more. Let's see what we take from here. So clarify the strength card for us, spirit. You have eight of strength. Girl fight. Arguments, physical fight at war, and then you have reflection in reverse. So whoever this is, they don't want you to have time to think about yourself and what you like about so, about yourself, about loving yourself and all of that, because that's what strengthens you. Yeah, it's definitely a girl fight of some kind and someone trying to take power over you, but they can only thrive and you're not weak. You're not a weak person at all. So I feel like... They want you to agree to being weak for them so that they can feel some kind of power and then genuinely try to build some type of uh, network over top of you, like weeds growing on your house. That's what it, that's how this feels like. Weeds 
trying to tangle themselves up in your life and feel like they can eventually, if you give them, give them enough time and space, give them the opportunity, they will bring you down. But in reality, they are just a bunch of weeds and you can rip them out in a matter of seconds. Whoever this is, this girl fight is not a real fight, but they do really feel like they're fighting you and they feel like they're winning. If you give them that time, <clears throat> I mean, in the long run, the plants are going to win, but not anytime soon. So someone says, you are my wish fulfillment and, and I want you only. You know, you can direct your energy wherever you want to. You want things to happen. And I feel like, I mean, this is clarifying the death card, but it's also kind of clarifying your ten of pentacles here. Whatever you want is what you're prophet was what you're fulfilling is what you're manifesting. So you could be at the same time manifesting the end of this oppressive relationship while manifesting this ten of pentacles. Let's clarify the ten of pentacles and this eight of cups. The, the what's the connection between this ten of pentacles and eight of cups? We got trains going by. Yeah, I don't need any background noise. It's plenty enough. Okay, so I trust you unconditionally. So it almost seems like someone is walking away from the situation to kind of let you have responsibility with building. It seems like the old you would have fought, but the new you is learning to stay and cope. I don't know. It's for some people. This is Scorpio, right? So I don't know. For some of y'all Scorpios, it seems like it's an offer coming towards you. Maybe you're going to start doing some readings of your own. Again, the... The readings, the, the messages seems like they're coming for a smaller and smaller group. But it's like this offer is like many are called fewer chosen type of energy. Because it almost seems like you're going to be the one controlling someone. I don't know how that's resonating with you. Because someone was trying to control you and now it seems like you're going to be taking that position and controlling other people. Hopefully you can hear through because there's something spiritual about you. And in the past, someone was really abusing your willingness to submit. So I feel like you're going to be paid back for that in many, many ways. But it does take a lot of work. Again, in the, in the future, you probably will have fought this. But now it's kind of like this is an opportunity that's presenting itself to you, whoever this is. If this is resonating with you, it's like because you stuck around. That's what this is for. Let's see. 